Ja, Lil Bow obviously. Lil Bow! Oh my yeah. god, I thought it was Marine Lord for some reason. No. And I couldn't remember any. I was like, what is he talking about with a stupid BlizzCon? I couldn't remember it being a thing. So this is kind of like doubting the moon landing, you know? <laughs> so I'm not even sure if it happened all together. <laughs> Welcome back to Who Wants to Be a Grandmaster, the show where we test the StarCraft 2 knowledge of your favorite content creators and pro players in various disciplines to see who is the true Grandmaster. Game 1. Fill the Gap In Fill the Gap, the players are given an array of StarCraft 2 related pictures with one of them missing, and they have to fill the gap. Whenever they think they have the solution, they can buzz in, but if they are wrong, they are banned from guessing for 12 seconds. First to three points wins. Let's start with round number one of fill the gap. We have the observer, the carrier, something, the oracle, uh, sorry, the disruptor and the oracle. That's, well, Kevin, <laughs> Rotti. Wait. Phoenix? <laughs> the Phoenix? What is your I don't know. explanation for that? <laughs> oh, no explanation. I got excited. An excuse to say Phoenix? <laughs> I got excited. That is wrong. Okay, we'll continue. Observer, Carrier, Disruptor, and Oracle. Um. Both Protoss players. They should be familiar with these units. I, I know what they share. I just don't know a fifth unit. What do they share? Well, I won't say it. Then he also knows. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I don't want to alert anyone, but that's supposed to be the easiest one today. So... <laughs> Can you give us a hint? Like, I don't get it. Yeah, um, uh, it's the one I don't have hints for because I thought you get it immediately. But let me think of a hint real quick. The unit comes out of... War Prism. Oh, there we go, the War Prism. Because what's no the No standard reason? attacks. No standard attacks. Exactly. Yeah. Wow. How can you forget the War Prism? It's literally the best unit you have. Yeah. Yeah, I just figured, I actually had to go by building to figure out the units. And I went with Robo last because I, there's no way there's another unit in the Robo that can't attack. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to round number two. We have the Hellion, the Hellbat, something, the Thor. I think you gave the answer. I did give the answer. The Thor. <laughs> <laughs> you meant to not say it, and the Viking, because they can all transform. Thor can shift mode, Viking can land, Hellion can become a Hellbat. <laughs> Cheers, mate. We're all tied up, baby. <laughs> but I would have known it without you spoiling it, I promise. <laughs> it had to happen at some point. <laughs> Beautiful stuff. All right. The 1-1 one, one it is. <laughs> okay. We have... The Spore Crawler, the Roach Warren, something, the Spine Crawler, and the Baneling Nest. Zerg buildings, they do have something in common, and they do have one last partner we are looking for. That's uh, Harstam. Evolution Chamber. The Evolution Chamber. Why is the evolution chamber on there? I don't know, tier one buildings? I'm afraid that is wrong. Could it be wrong reasoning but right building, or is that never a thing? That could be, yes. You could you could guess correctly. Let's continue. Let's think of when these buildings are built that's roddy okay i want to go with evolution chain because you can build all of this after you build a spawning pool huh um i just said if it's the correct building but the wrong reasoning it still counts 
Oh, I thought you said the opposite. Sorry. No. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I, I'll just not ban you for 12 seconds because that was a miscommunication. No, no, no. If you if it's the correct building, even if it's the wrong reason, no problem. Okay. So think about when these are built. And um what do you need to build these? That's Karate. Uh a spawning pool? <laughs> the spawning pool. Yeah. It's wrong. But it's uh, a step in the correct direction. Because you need the spawning pool to build all these. Oh. Roti. Extractor? What the f*** is going on? You don't need a spawning pool to build an extractor. That's true. Guys! Is it the okay. lair? It is the lair, of course! <sighs> Buildings unlocked by the spawning pool. Wait, what? Is evil chamber not unlocked by the spawning pool? Yes, it is. I think you can just, you can actually, you can probably just build a spawning pool by itself. Hey, you don't need a lair for a spawning Yeah, pool. you don't need a spawning pool for an evolution yeah, chamber. Yeah, you don't. No, yeah. That, that's what, uh, because I immediately thought it is the spawning pool requirement, but then I thought that you needed a spawning pool to build an evo. But why no, is it lair? Isn't it hatchery tech? You can build all of this stuff on hatchery tech. Yeah, but the spawning pool unlocks all of these buildings. Yes. So what's the correct answer? You know that my initial reaction to a spore crawler is almost always still that you need an evo chamber for it as well. Like that is so deeply ingrained for some reason. Maybe that was that the case at one time or? Yeah, I think it, yeah, I think yeah, it used yeah, to be I the case so. back yes. in the day, but it's not no more. All right, let's go to the next round. Hopefully that's easier. We have <laughs> the spire. The layer, something, and the hatchery with nothing else. And uh, this is a little bit of a trick question, to be fair. Because you see three Zerg buildings, but the answer is not a Zerg building. So you have to think outside the box. My brain is so far outside the box right now. I'm just not seeing <laughs> anything. I'm just looking at these things. That last question killed me, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Still tossing and turning about that one. Yeah. <laughs> Roti won't be able to sleep tonight. Like, what do they have in common? <laughs> I, I lost track of this entire game at this point. I'm ready for the next one. No. Okay. Uh. You should have an easy answer of what they have in common. They require a drone to be built. It's the, literally the only thing I can <laughs> think of. <It's> like I'm <laughs> just... Let's think about their future potential. That's Roddy. A great aspire. The great aspire is wrong. Yeah, it's not a Zerg building. But the Greater Spire is part of the solution, because the Spire <laughs> can obviously be transformed mm -hmm. into the Greater Spire. When can I go again? No. Uh, Command Roddy. Center Orbital. <gasps> oh, I forgot about the Command Center. That's true. Yeah, that's correct. <laughs> I had the, the gateway. It oh. can get, become a warp gate. But Fair yeah, nice. true, I completely forgot about the command center. That should be on this list as well. <laughs> ah, Very nice. Austin was too far out of the box. <laughs> <laughs> Larvas are going around it. <laughs> what are they have in common? I have no clue, man. <laughs> they have the same modeling artist at Blizzard. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that this is something that, you know, winter would know. Actually, all of those buildings were drawn by this guy who also drew the gateway. <laughs> <laughs> so sick.
Let's go to the next one. We have Blink, Tactical Jump, Something, Strategic Recall and Shadow Stride. For... Oh, Roddy? Nidus? The Nidus network is wrong. But it is uh, definitely a thought into the right direction. Definitely has to do something with getting units around the map. But the Nidus isn't an ability, is it? War Prison Pickup? No, I, I don't know. That all, yeah, well, it technically is an ability, but not in that sense, right? But it is another Protoss ability that we are looking for. And uh, the answer is pretty much on screen. Harston. Mass recall. Mass recall, correct. Is, is, is mass recall on the mothership, right? And strategic on the nexus? Yes. I yes. think it's the... Uh, yeah, 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 of course. You see the nexus on strategic ah, recall. Right. Yeah. yeah, that's correct. Yeah, yeah the, the war prism pickup, I mean... It's not a spell, really. It's just a... Yeah, it's not really a spell. And also, it doesn't really teleport, right? It picks up. Yeah. It's It, it has a little bit of lateral distance. That's true, but not not in the way we were looking I, for it i thought the night was a solid pick <laughs> yeah it was i honestly the moment you banged it i also thought of ah Nidus network is gonna be correct but yes yeah, abilities all right um after crushing both participants spirits in game one <laughs> <laughs> to a point of no return we go to game number two which will be two truths one lie game two Two truths, one lie. The contestants are provided with three different statements. Two of them are true, but one is a lie, which they have to identify. Guessing is done in private, and whoever has most points after five rounds wins. Let's start with round number one. We have the statements. There are 15 co-op missions in StarCraft 2. There are 18 co-op commanders in StarCraft 2. And the Nova Covert Ops mission packs included a flat 10 levels. One of these three is wrong. I hope you are even aware of the Nova Covert Ops mission packs. No. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> I know it's the last paid content they released at one point, but it could be. It is. Oh, it doesn't matter. I don't want to give any hints. Are somebody in the answer? Your opponent already locked in very confidently. Mm, not super confident. I know one of them is 100% true. The other Which one two, is 100% true? Uh, well, I think the, that there are 18 co-op commanders. 18 sounds right. It's either 16 or 18, but 18 sounds pretty good. <laughs> there are indeed 18 co-op commanders. But yeah. what is the lie? Roti. I think that there are 15 co-op missions is the lie because I kind of remember Nova COVID Ops being around 10. Now, it could be 9, it could be 11, but that seems weird. So I think they went for 10. So I think number one is a lie. Okay, and Harstam? I thought the Nova Covert Ops mission packs included a flat 10 levels. I, I couldn't remember it being a thing. So this is kind of like doubting the moon landing, you know? <laughs> I'm not even sure if it happened altogether. <laughs> Amazing. Well, in that case, Kevin is correct. <laughs> yeah, which one? <laughs> the Harsham one, sadly. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Oh, right, it's two there. Kevins. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I love how you're celebrating. I was like, what the hell? Am I not identifying as a Kevin anymore? Like, <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> oh, no. No, there are, you were right. The Covert Ops mission packs only had nine levels. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> Pain. The next round, we have... To this day, no foreigner did ever win a GSL event. We have Clem did not lose an official tournament match in Harst to Harstam in over three years. 
And special left and rejoined Root Gaming twice. This one, I think this one is very easy. Very easy, okay. Yeah, yeah legitimately very easy. Okay, Harsom, what, what, what do you say? To this day, no foreigner did ever win a GSL event. That's who, false. Who did win yep. a GSL event? Cyril won two GSL versus the world. That is correct. 100% correct. You both are correct. Come really on, North. <laughs> <laughs> Take or hamster. Are you good? <laughs> <laughs> for three years in a row now you know i didn't yes. take a map of several since 2017 <laughs> i even have the date the last win you had over clem was esl open cup 33 on 24th of august 2020 it's not bad that's why i said i don't want this recording before the 25th of august <laughs> but you said 2022 but esl open uh, cup 30 oh 2020 exactly yeah, yeah. 24th of August 2020. Yeah. Okay. Harston forced me to acknowledge that he won against Clem the day after that recording. Although it was in the Wardy TV balance test tournament on the balance patch, which is not an official patch. So I don't think we should count that. Yeah, no, the other two, like, maybe would have been hard, but the first one is just so easy because obviously Sarah winning GSL versus the world counts as a GSL event. Yeah, I also remember Puppy joining uh, Root Gaming multiple times. So yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> if you would have wrote four there, I would have believed you. Yeah, too. me too. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere yeah. between two and six. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go to the next round, which uh, is uh, apparently the nightmare for both of you because we are going into lore questions. Artanis was the leader of the Dialam. At the close of the end war, Sarah Kerrigan ascended to become a Zelnaga, and Nova Terra was a part of Raynor's Rangers. Now I know what's going on into you. Who the f are the Raynor's Rangers? <laughs> but you still have to guess on what is correct. This is me gambling, obviously, but. Okay, we have an answer from yeah. Harstam. I went for Nova Terra, was part of Rainer's Rangers. I thought they were called Rainer's Raiders and not the Rangers. Uh, so both exist. Oh, well, in that case. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't think they coexisted simultaneously, but uh, they both uh, are existent in the you know, StarCraft 2 lore. That was really funny because for a split second, I was so impressed by Harstam there. I was like, man, that's right. Even I should have known that. And it's like, never mind. Shut down. They both exist. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Roddy, would you please announce your guess as well? Yes, I guess that uh, at the end of the or at the close end of the war sarah kerrigan ascends to become a zell naga i fail to imagine how sarah kerrigan becomes a zell naga watch tower so i went for that <laughs> <being wrong. laughs> that's my reasoning <laughs> oh my god yeah i'm sorry that reasoning is wrong it actually is nova terra was part of reynos rangers because uh, she was part of the cover ops crew crew hence the missions, and was tasked to kill an ally of Jim Rayner, who was deceiving him about his goals. Huh. That's nice. Now, <laughs> now I know why Harsom did so well in high school. He just picked the right number for the wrong reasons. <laughs> like, <laughs> the king of guesses nice, does guy. it again. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Let's go to the next round, and uh, reality is, if Harston <laughs> gets this correct, he wins game two. So, Roddy, try your best. We have high sec auto tracking does benefit the Ravens auto turrets. Tectonic destabilizers improves the tempest kinetic overload to deal plus four damage versus structures. And anabolic synthesis, aka ultralisk speed, does only work off creep. We have three upgrades. One of them was altered a tiny bit. So what is the detail that is wrong here? Mm. 
This one should be easy, but it's not. Roddy, what is wrong? Tell us. I'm gonna go with high sec auto threading. Uh, high sec auto tracking does benefit the Raven's auto turret. I believe it was once upon a time a thing, and I think then they removed it because the other two seem correct. I know there is an animation for the ultra all the time, but I'm pretty certain that's only off creep. And plus forty sounds right, unless it's plus forty five. But I think plus forty. No, no, plus forty is correct. Yeah. Harston. I went for tectonic destabilizers improves the tempest kinetic overlord to deal plus forty damage versus structures. I thought that maybe the number is off in my mind the high sec auto tracking definitely works on turrets but now i'm starting to doubt whether it might be that the building armor works on the turrets i think that might be it that they get like plus two armor so that i mix those two up or maybe it's actually both uh, because it is a structure right the auto turret it is a structure yeah but it does benefit from high sec auto tracking because the correct answer is, or the lie is, the second one. It's the wrong Tempest attack. It enhances oh. resonance coil, not kinetic overload. Ah, oh, come <laughs> on. The numbers is what matters there. Jeez, Louise, who cares about these terms? <laughs> All right. Once again, wrong reasoning, correct answer. I'm loving my yeah. life right now. <laughs> oh, this is ridiculous. <sighs> This feels good. <coughs> <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> How do you fancy an evening at the Holland Casino tonight, <laughs> Cam? Like, want to make, make some money I, together? <laughs> I know what I'm doing tonight. <laughs> 17 feels right. <laughs> All right, that's 2 0 for Harsham so far. After getting uh, obliterated by Winter last episode, uh, he's back on track apparently. And we will move into game number three. Guess the tournament. Tournament number one. We are looking for an offline tournament. A good old offline event. Quack. In which seven out of the top eight were Protoss players. Absolute Protoss dominance. And that's probably because it was sponsored by Mountain Dew. Sadly, we are not, but uh, hit us up if you want. It ended on the 21st of April 2023. So quite recent this year. What? The whole tournament featured only two Terran players. Also, I just realized what is going on. This is the wrong date. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, my uh, bad. 2019. I don't know why it says 2023. It's 2019. It was a 1v1 single elimination format. A premier tournament with a prize pool of nearly 25,000 US dollars. And uh, the latest here, the... Oh! Harstam. Super Tournament 1. In which year? 2019. That is correct. <laughs> the 20, 2019 Africa TV GSL Super Tournament 1. Yeah. Did Trap win it? Uh, no, Classic. Ah, okay. Classic won 4 1 against Gumiho in the finals. <laughs> but you seem a little bit down no 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 I was, okay? I was thinking mate I was really trying and okay. then in the 2023 I was like what that's absolutely no way yeah I'm sorry I don't know how that happened <laughs> and for some reason the Mountain Dew was a little bit tricky because I really started thinking of obviously early days MLG because I always feel Mountain Dew Super America didn't really think of the Korean tournament but it makes sense because yeah that's good Let's go to tournament number two, in which Maru did not win a single map in the whole tournament. Although the whole tournament consisted of 15 Koreans and only one Frenchman. Uh, Harstam? I know, sorry, Roti, Roti. Yes, uh, we are looking at obviously BlizzCon in the year that we were getting ready for Legacy of the Void. So BlizzCon 2016, Anaheim, California. That is wrong. I'm sorry. Oh, wait. Let's continue. 
the finals were won 4 to 3 on Iron Fortress. Maybe you remember that map. Mm -hmm. Can I go again? The, yeah, of course. Uh, BlizzCon 2015. It is 2015 WCS Global Finals or BlizzCon 2015. Yeah, Lil Bao obviously. Being Lil Bao! Oh my yeah. god, I thought it was Marine Lord for some reason. No. And I couldn't remember any. I was like, what is he talking about with a stupid BlizzCon? Oh my god, how is this possible? How did I forget about Lil Bao existing? No, yeah, it was, uh, I was just not sure because I was like, Legacy of the Void came out in 2016. The meme was obviously that he wasn't practicing, he was getting ready. But then I, I was one year ahead. But yeah, Grand Finals, SOS against Life, 43, 12 pool failing, that yes. Oh wow, my god. That's impressive. That you even know like what the threat was. Mm -hmm. Damn. Okay. <sighs> Said I, I really wanted to get to the next hint because uh, TLO was completely obliterated in the Archon Show match. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't think I ever would have gotten this because I legit just forgot about Lil Bao's existence. Like I, <laughs> I just I, I thought I gave it away to you. I was like, oh yeah, man, I thought you were just completely off base. I was like, I have no sure this guy's no clue what he's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> like, this is Marie Bliscon. Like I immediately because I was like Bliscon. I, I, I remember it having like Naniwa and maybe Snoot or something at some point there. So I was like, ah, no Frenchman. So I was thinking Marine Lord probably because I remember him doing well in Nation Wars. But I was like, how is it possible? Fifteen Koreans, one Frenchy. <laughs> so, Nation Wars. I, I was going back to Katowice. You know the Katowice where we had like the. Like the the all you can like the hundred k tournament in my mind that was Naniwa so I was just digging in my head like Stefano tournament in the early days or something it's just oh. holy crap I was far off oh. <laughs> <sighs> all right maybe you will do better in tournament number three it had a prize pool of fifteen thousand USD so not a small tournament. And it had our all favorite a ZVZ final. The map pool included Blackburn, Glittering Ashes, and Pride of Altaris. And now it's getting juicy because it was an online tournament, not a good old offline event. The racial distribution was 7 Zerg, 5 Toss, and 4 Terran. Also, first place gained 250 EPT global points. So there was a very stacked field for that. The organizer... Oh, Rotti. I'm going to try TSL7. TSL7 is wrong. I'm sorry. No worries. Let's continue. The I is it Carson? the DreamHack Masters Global Final 2020? No. Let's continue. It was organized by Alpha X. Oh. Roti? King of Battles. Which one? Uh, King of Battles with... That is too late. I'm sorry. Okay. Let's continue. The next hint is... Best Korean participant was Maru. In third place. King of Battles 1. <laughs> King of Battles 1 is wrong. <laughs> Let's continue. It was sponsored by some drunk Canadian. Roti. King of Battles 2. <laughs> <laughs> this is wrong. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Finals were played on 1st of May 2022. <laughs> Harston. <laughs> Is it perhaps King of Battles 3? Oh my god, how did you get that? <laughs> Come on, this is so ridiculous. <laughs> oh my. This is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> this is match point for Hearthstone, not only for game 3, but for the whole episode. So, Roddy. I have my full trust in you to make the reverse sweep. Oh, okay. And it will not be an easy one because we are looking at a Wings of Liberty tournament mm -hmm. on patch 103. Okay. Very, very old school. 
It features Intel Extreme Masters Cologne. You gotta be kidding me. Yeah, that's. Uh, I was already thinking Moro Gamescon yeah, as Moro, well, but yeah, it has to be. Yeah, Moro and his Reapers beating yeah. everyone. But yeah, that's all right. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing I can do. There's no shot. Wait, what? Okay. It's Fun correct, fact, no? Moro. Yeah, it's correct. And Moro, Moro wasn't was even the... invited. He only yep. got invited afterwards because Bratok failed to get a German visa. That is correct. Really? I, I don't know there? any of that. Yeah, I did know that. Because they compared it to uh, Denmark not making it to the Euros. He came in as last minute replacement, then he huh. won it all. And just built Reapers throughout the entire tournament. And he was pretty <laughs> the, good. Was it Idra in the finals? Yes. Yeah. Moro Idra. Yeah, that was proper broken. The Reapers back then. With the buildings. They did yeah. extra damage to buildings. Do you remember they That's, have this. They, but what, I, I checked, there were multiple tournaments on this patch how did you know it's, so yeah, it's, it's, it's the only one i would have known so i figured okay. it, i figured it's one of the first patches so it's the only one i would have guessed uh -huh. i guess the F, maybe the dreamhack winter still was on there as well like the nama mana finals but yeah i don't think anything else and i already think they probably had patched the reaper at that point do you remember they would proxy reapers kill your assimilators and then you couldn't build gas units <laughs> so there's no <laughs> way to kill the reapers yeah. <laughs> That's yeah, so that was a fun tourney. I also remember Corruptus having energy bars, so then the only way they could kill Colossus was with Corruptus. Then you would have some High Templars, you feed back <laughs> every single Corruptor, and they would all just explode because they had 200 energy. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. I remember the German audience going crazy because Hasselhoff feedbacked every single Corruptor from Dimaga, and I was like, this looks pretty unfair, guys. And the Germans were like, yeah, Hasu! <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> Uh, there used to be some good stuff in the game back in the day well with that Harsim wins the third of four episodes of who wants to be a grandmaster congratulations well done. but I have to say a little lucky <laughs> <laughs> come on he was just guessing random stuff somehow gets it correct then king of battles three after i filled first to name a number and then he went one and i went two and he gets number three come on <laughs> oh, no. you still want to play the final game as well or no uh, yeah absolutely yeah, okay. no. all right if you if you look at harstam's cam right now roddy Mm -hmm. You will see, very live, the face of regret. Because game four will be in-game sounds. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I told you, I told you. Game four, in-game sounds. The contestants will hear a specific SC2-related sound and have to guess in secret what that sound could be. Whoever is closest wins the round. But to get the point, you have to at least hit the correct unit or structure or whatever. Whoever has the most points after five rounds wins. Let's go with the first sound. And lucky enough for both of you, it is easier than the uh, loco episode in-game sounds one. So you should get at least some. What is this unit? You want a piece of me, boy? Reaper. You guess in secret. Oh, damn it. <laughs> I will play it again. You want a piece of me, boy? You want a piece of me, boy. Okay, I'm now actually second guessing myself because it could be. No worries, I can play it a third one time. You want a piece of me, boy? I'm going to change my guess, but if I'm wrong, I'm molding. Oh, interesting. Both of you going with the same unit. Which unit did you pick? Kev. Oh, uh, a Hellion? What? You didn't send... I changed it. You changed it? <laughs> no, 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 you don't change it afterwards. You, you put Marauder down. <laughs> don't even try to cheat here, what the heck? Well, I, put, I, put, I, I first put Marauder and I instantly changed it to Hellion. Instantly? I looked at it three times. Don't. Oh, Hellion. It's a Hellion first. Okay, it's not the Marauder though, it's the Marine. When oh. he's trained. Ah, oh, that's so bad by us. That's actually very bad. <laughs> the Marine? I just have no clue. I'm so bad. I, I hate this game. It's, I always get things <laughs> wrong. This is just not fair. 
I went Marauder. Yeah. Marauder yeah. Reaper. I felt like it really was a barracks unit, but I didn't. I was like, Marine is too obvious. I should know that. Who listens to these things? There's guys in my we Discord do. that were like, the they were low like, elo plebs. Like, who clicks on a unit and listens to the voice line? That is absolutely no, no, degenerate no, 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 no. This behavior. Is the being trained voice line. Oh, yeah, whatever. I mean, does it don't you trade? Don't you but train you can, marines? You can disable those sounds, right? I think a lot of us play with those sounds disabled, or is that not a thing? I'm not. I I thought I had them disabled, but then they they started sending me clips from my stream where these sounds play. Uh. <laughs> He's just an idiot. <laughs> they really did. <laughs> That's amazing. <clears throat> oh, okay. Well, um, after this, I don't have. Uh, Good hopes for the second true sound, so let's just go straight into it. Here's sound number two. Oh, a confident harsh stem. I'll still play it again. Sounds straight out of Jurassic Park, pretty much. Yeah. Let's hear it one last time. Also, you can hear this very high-quality sound from 2010. I'm thinking <laughs> of three different things. I'm just gonna go with my first guess. Go with the gut. What is the gut? My gut guess is Ultralisk, because it kind of sounds growly. And, but it can also be like Hydra or Lurker or something. I don't know. Harstam already knows. He's already grinning. Yeah, I'm wrong. <laughs> I went for yeah. the factory. It sounded like car tires leaving or something. And then the moment you mentioned Jurassic Park, I remembered that Zerg was in the game as well. <laughs> <laughs> it is the Ultralisk Raw. Yay! Good job, Roddy. There's one for you. How the f*** do you get to factory? I sound like cars, cars <laughs> leaving. I was just completely stuck with Terran in my mind. It's like, it's no point. I was so confident as well when I wrote it down. I had already written it. Yeah, you it. locked it in immediately. I was like, wow, Kev, he's, he's onto something. I was like, I think Ultra, but I have no idea. <laughs> I no so clueless. That's funny. Sound number three <laughs> should be easier for both of you. So, let's hop into that. It's uh, obviously a Protoss unit using, uh, what was the language called again? Kalani. Let's hear it again. Gonna go with my first guess. All right, both have locked in. Harshtam, let's start with you. The Archon. The Archon, okay. And Roddy? I went with High Templar. Hi Templar. You were both so close. Because it was the Dark Templar. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Close enough. I feel like that's kind of a mini win for us, Kev. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, at least I was the correct race this time, so I'm just happy with that. <laughs> nice. Yeah, but he told us it was a Frodo's yeah. unit. <laughs> <laughs> the last well, time he also told us Jurassic Park, he still got it wrong down. <laughs> I mean, he also said no Zerg building, and I was like, great Aspire, and I was like, wait, I should listen. I got excited, what can I do? <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Let's go to sound number four. Sounds like uh, our great, great, great parents communicated around the world, so let's hear it again. Ancient technology. So it can be a building as well, right? Or Yeah, of course. And then I'm gonna go with... It can also be an ambient sound. Maybe you have to guess the map that it's played on. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you have to guess the one that recorded it, the person. Uh, Rodney, what is the guess? I went with Orbital Command because it sounds Orbital scanny. Command. It sounds scanny because it yeah. does scan. Yeah. Arstam. I, I went for the Raven, just same reason. Either Orbit or a Raven, I thought. Yeah, that's what I was thinking as well. It's one of the two. That's very nicely <sighs> wrong um, <laughs> for both of you. <laughs> uh, it's a sensor tower. Ah. I know, I know. Who clicks on the sensor tower? I do. <clears throat> Round five, 
is a curveball, I warned you. Let's listen to round number five. I sense a soul in search of answer. Yeah, it's hard to hard to really understand, so let's hear it again. I sense a soul in search of answer. And you don't only have to look at or hear to or listen to the words, but also all the other sounds that you can hear. I will play it again. I sense a soul in search of answer. Oh, I think I know that. Oh, okay. Harston, shoot your guess. <laughs> I got nothing when you, you weren't even throwing curveballs yet. <laughs> Just <laughs> the regular <laughs> balls were difficult enough. Okay, I, I, I went for the Oracle, but just because I'm completely clueless. Uh, so it's just a random guess. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Roddy? Well, it was obviously a feminine voice. So I was like, maybe girls. But then you said, listen to the surroundings. And it kind of, kind of sounds like they're flying, at least I think. So I went yeah. for the Banshee. That is understandable. Finally, Lath, it is a Protoss unit. Oh. It is a repeatedly selected voice line from the Observer. Didn't even know observers could speak. Yeah, I thought they would just make gruntal noises. Yeah, yeah but uh, they also listen to other communication, which is visualized in these repeated selected things where you can get snippets of other races' communications. Well, I had no idea. That is news to me. Yeah. I'm learning stuff. <laughs> God, I love this game. All right. Well, it, that, that, was, that was all five uh, rounds of the guessing the sounds, no? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's so it. I win the round? <laughs> I win the round by getting a single correct guess. God, I freaking hate this game so much. <laughs> <laughs> it's unbelievable. Oh, congratulations, though. It's uh, applause worthy. Nice win. Uh, the Ultra was a snap call as well, though. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh this could have been all closer and competitive. I think you ran a little good throughout this episode, Kev. I don't think we can complain about how we guessed. Yeah, sometimes the cars just fall right, Kev. It's, it's, it, it is how it is. Yeah. This time I was lucky. Last time, less so. so it is. But well done. You yeah, obviously had a couple of good ones too. Appreciate the Super it. Tournament one was good. But. I was particularly happy with the Intellect Stream Masters Cologne 2010 though. That's, yeah, it felt the very funny good. thing is that I, I was that's literally the first thing I was thinking of as well, but I was like, I'm not going to press it immediately by seeing the patch it's played on mm. because I was like, that's a bit much. I was waiting for one more hint and you just snapped it. Yeah. Yeah. That's what it is.